So, hello, this is Daniela and Dimfi again. And uh, we would just like to tell you a little bit more about uh, the tunnels which we mentioned, which we will visit on uh, day two of our uh, Balkan retreat, of our Sisterhood Voice Awakening retreat in Bosnia and Herzegovina in uh, May 2019. So, Dimfi, before I uh, tell more about the background of this place, could you just tell us how you felt uh, the first time you visited these tunnels? Um, yeah, for me it was uh, it was pretty incredible because when you walk in, the air is actually very fresh, and that, that's that's not what you expect going into tunnels. So, uh, so I that that's that's one thing I experienced. And further, yeah, it it was a bit uh, yeah because you 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 are walking with light in the dark, and and it's it's not a natural thing. Uh, people enjoy in a way yeah, going into some tunnel under the ground but um, yeah uh, I found it I, I felt I felt very clear and fresh when I was in. Mm -hmm. So exactly this is the very uh, interesting and surprising thing about the tunnels because the tunnels are ancient you know they were built by uh, the builders of the pyramids actually the, the material which was digged from the tunnels was actually used uh, for uh, creating the uh, concrete blocks uh, which you can find on the pyramid of the sun. So they are really ancient. Uh, the latest estimates are the minimum of 29,000 years. Which is ancient, ancient, right? right. Now the the, the the civilization that built these tunnels uh, was very advanced yeah, because they had knowledge that we don't have uh, anymore and the tunnels are constructed in a harmony with uh, underground water and uh, simply uh, the although there is only one entrance into the tunnels as you mentioned the air there is very fresh like uh, one in the mountains and there is actually no system of ventilation. So the question is how you know, advanced this civilization must have been that they were able to create such tunnels. There is a, a temperature of 12 degrees all around year long. So it doesn't change with the weather, all right? Now, uh, last few years, there uh, have been a few medical experiments because uh, ever since the tunnels uh, have been uh, researched, which is more than uh, 10 years now, there were a lot of testimonies of people who visited these tunnels who actually healed a lot of their illnesses there. Now, uh, some of these testimonies you can actually find on the official website of uh, the foundation, which is www. Uh, pyramidasunsa.ba There is also the English section, so you can find a lot of stories that people wrote about their experience. For me, uh, I understand these uh, tunnels as one of the key uh, helps uh, in my life whenever something comes up. So I visited them in various uh, uh, things that happened to me on my body like for example my son scratched my eyes a few years ago and uh, you know I went to the emergency and they told me that this um, uh, this thing which was there will actually never uh, disappear and I might have problems seeing for the rest of my life. Wow. Uh, luckily at that time I had a group uh, planned uh, for Bosnia so I, I was thinking like what shall I do now because the pain was incredible and I was thinking like well, either I stay with the pain home or I go with the pain to Bosnia and uh, like it happened many times before, I might heal it magically very fast in the tunnels. And so I did, I, I went with the group and uh, really already the first visit just made incredible uh, difference. You know, my eye stopped being swollen, the, the pain was going uh, away and so in next uh, three days it was completely healed. Then it returned a few times, you know, when there was a lot of dust around or things like that but it simply healed you know right now I don't know anything about that yeah. and, uh, I heard similar very you know negative um, diagnosis uh, by doctors uh, many times in my life I had a 
hypothyroidism, uh, hypo whatever the English name is, uh, you know, thyroid thing, oh, yeah. hypoversion. And they would tell me that it will never heal, that it's just dysfunctional. And I just knew that, you know, there were some things in my life which I wasn't coping with well. And uh, I was medicated by the doctor with some pills, you know, the pills didn't do me any good. So I just started searching for different things to, to change it. Now I started changing my attitudes and uh, all my illnesses were gone. But uh, these tunnels were actually great help because uh, really when you come there having any chronic or acute uh, illnesses, you feel such a relief inside and also when you go outside. And it takes, uh, I mean, it lasts, it lasts because the medical experiment which they did in Ravne proved that uh, they, they simply checked all the things that you can uh, prove when you uh, take uh, blood and urine of people. And some of the things that they proved is that uh, blood pressure harmonizes, the level of um, sugar and um, cholesterol uh, is uh, becoming harmonized after the stay and so on. Yeah. And they also proved that this thing actually lasts in your body. Yeah. So, after visiting the tunnels, you simply never return to the zero point. And of course, it's, uh, it's a question of like how much you can actually keep this uh, harmonized level when returning back home into the uh, normal conditions. Yeah, but it, 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 was, it was amazing. I have uh, seen a, a similar story. When I was there last uh, May, there was a, a woman there and she had a muscle disease. And um, well, for her, it was, it was quite hard to, to walk in general. And, uh, but, but then she went for one hour or one and a half hour in the tunnels. And then after that, she could walk for hours. It was really remarkable, actually. How, um, yeah, how, how it lasted and, and that she, she was uh, in less pain. So it's, it's a very, in, uh, yeah, very interesting place where we, we don't know a lot about yet, in that sense. There are a lot of mysteries around it also. But, uh, yeah. yeah, the thing with, uh, this was the physical level as far as the body is concerned. So uh, the relief in tunnels that definitely comes. Uh, a very similar effect has uh, the sleeping at the hotel at the peak of the pyramid because the, the energy there is very similar to the one in the tunnels. So actually, I have many interesting experiences uh, sleeping there. When I came from uh, my country, I felt very tired. I, I felt just, you know, exhausted. I spent one night there and I was like a new person, you know, without even going to the tunnels. So this is the other place. now. There is not only physical uh, level of uh, the changes that uh, are available at these places, but uh, it's also about really the uh, spiritual awakening, awakening in the sense of uh, your, your consciousness can simply open really wide in these places. And uh, of course, there are a lot of uh, people who uh, bring uh, people to these places and they say, okay, we do this to you, we do that to you, and that's because of us. But <laughs> It is simply like really huge changes happen just because of the place, because you are staying at that place, yeah, and that's it. So, uh, because some people were worried, uh, I mean, when they read some things about uh, the retreat and about the tours, they think we do some kind of magic there. But uh, the biggest magic are really the most simple things, you know, the most simple things like sitting quietly at a beautiful place, Connecting to yourself and letting your voice out. Yes. <laughs> Would you agree? Sorry, what did you say? Would you agree? Definitely, definitely. It's 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 in a way it's it's really simple. It's it's yeah. It it is um, uh, moving your body, using your voice. Uh, Expressing, it's about expressing yourself from the inside out. And that is such a medicine in a way, like that, that was also used in, in ancient times. Then 
then that that was the medicine not not the drugs we have uh, these times but then it was uh, okay when's the last time you have danced when, when's the last time you have sang when is the last time when you have uh, painted or created something you know mm -hmm. it's and and i can say a bit more about it it's it's when you have when you have certain emotion or um often you have a story you have a story like why this is happening to you and blah 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 blah, and then you have an emotion to it and the thing is to feel the emotion step out of this story and with with the emotion with this energy which is energy you can create something you know with the with the energy of fear or um uh, uh, or anger, I can create beautiful music with the mm. sadness. Oh, most most beautiful art can be composed. You know, it's mm. really stepping out of the story to something, transform it, use the energy and transform it into something else. And if you maybe before we finish now, I'd like to ask you one question uh, because we talked about. Um, the voice and singing and, and all this, but you also play uh, some very interesting instruments. Uh, you are famous for Kora, you are a famous Kora player. Uh, are you bringing some nice instruments with you? Um, well, uh, I, I will bring for sure my uh, drum, which is, uh, which is there behind me. And uh, a Kora is actually what you see here in the back. Uh, it's an instrument from uh, from Africa. It's from West Africa, and uh, normally I, I play it uh, to uh, guide myself, guide my own singing, and I perform with this in solo concerts, but also with my own band, a Dragonfly, and uh, um, um, yeah, what to say about it? Probably I I will not take the Cora because that's that's. Uh, a thing that's a bit uh, not handy with the airplane and everything and traveling and you know it takes a lot of carrying but the drum I will take and if you participants if you uh, want to bring any instrument which you can take in the airplane then please do it you know a drum shaman drum or any percussion instrument would be really nice or uh, probably I can take my Shruti box. That's that's a small uh, instrument from India, which is also really nice to accompany uh, voices. But I think mainly we're going to work really with our with our own voices, with our own, as 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 basis. Yeah. Very good. I can't wait. Me too. Thank you for this. Thank you too. Thank you for explaining. Fantastic. Check our website www.balkanretreat.com. Yes, and join us. Join us. Join us. Send us a <laughs> and uh, come and join. The registration is still open, and uh, I can help you uh, with the flight tickets or whatever other advice you might need. Okay, so see you soon in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Fantastic. See you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye.